Hello everyone, if you are dealing with a large data set and want to focus on the most important information or quickly skim through the table to find desired data, then you know how important it is to learn creating collapsial rows in Excel. Collapsial rows are commonly used in web and mobile applications to present complex or detailed information in a compact and organized matters. By using this, users can expand or collapse rows to reveal additional details, reducing clutter or improving the overall user experience. So it is very important to learn creating collapsial rows in Excel. Here you can do this within a click. So this is Jihad Rian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create collapsial rows in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset a bit. At first, we have the month name, used items, and their prices in column B, C, and D. Now, we'll try to create collapsial rows in the total values of the month end. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to create collapsial rows automatically. To do that, at first, we'll go to the data tab. In the forecast section, we'll select the outline and here we'll find the group section. In this group section, we'll select auto outline just to get this section. Now you'll see at the left side of the data set, we have got the outlines. If you click on this minus sign, then you will see the data range has been collapsed as rows. Now, if you again do this, then you'll get your perfect result for this data set. Now, if you go to the plus sign, then in the long run, it will show you the full data set again. So, in the minus sign, you'll get the collapsial rows, but where you're clicking the plus sign, it will show you the full information. So, that's creating collapsial rows automatically in Excel. We can also create collapsial rows manually in Excel. For that, at first, we'll select the cell B5 to D9, go for the data tab, select outline and go for the group section. Here we'll select the group and in the group dialog box, you'll go for the rows. If you click OK, then at the left side, you have got the perfect collapsial rows. If you click on this sign, then it will collapse rows manually. So that's how you can easily create collapsial rows manually in Excel. Now we'll use subtotal feature to get the same result. At first, we'll select a single cell, go for the data tab. In the outline section, select the subtotal. Now a subtotal dialog box will open on the screen. Now in this screen, at each change in, you'll select month here. As we're trying to get the total number, so we'll select the sum as our used function and add subtotal to will use price. But now we want to get the first result and tick on it, the replace current subtotals. And now we'll also tick in the summary below the data. After that, we'll click OK to get the perfect result here. Now, if you look closely, then you have got the total values after the month end. If you click on it, then it will collapse the rows. Again, if you go for the month in February, then it will again call up the rows and in the grand total section, it will again call up the rows. So that's how you can easily create collapsial rows in Excel by using the subtotal feature. Now we'll use pivot table to get the job done. At first, we'll select any cell and press Ctrl plus A to select the whole data range. Go for the insert tab and select pivot table to open the pivot table dialog box. In this section, go for the table or range and check if the data set have been selected correctly or not. Now we want to create a new worksheet where we want to put our pivot table. So we'll select new worksheet here and press OK. Now in the new worksheet at the right corner, you'll get pivot table fields. At first, select month and items as rows 
and as values you'll select the price now in the main worksheet you will see the all data have been inserted as you have desired but at the left side you have got the collapsial signs if you click on it then you'll get the collapsial rows again if you click on it then collapsial rows for february so that's how you can easily create pivot table to create collapsial rows in excel Suppose you have created collapsial rows in Excel, but now at the left side you are showing the plus signs, but you don't like it at all. So you want to remove outline symbols. So the question occurs, how will you do that? So at first, go for the file tab, select the options, and then Excel options dialog box will get open on the screen. Select the advanced section, and in the advanced section, go for the display options for this worksheet here you will find show outline symbols if an outline is applied you will untake it and after that you will click on the ok and now you will see the left side outline symbols have gone forever so that's how you can easily remove outline feature in excel so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at xlm.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this